In, in your document, uh, Miss Akeno, what are your thoughts about that? Good evening, Attorney. Uh, yeah, good evening. Uh, open and continuous possession of the status of a legitimate child, uh, it, it simply means, um, for example, Attorney, the child would continue to use the surname of the father treatment by the parents and family of the child as legitimate constant attendance of the parents to the child's needs like supporting him in education and even giving the child the proper reputation of being a child of his parents so generally um the care that Next, next student. Okay, no, Karin. Good afternoon, po. All right, so, nandito pa lang tayo sa Supreme Court, ha? Huwag kayong pumunta sa iba. We are done with the cases falling within the original concurrent jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Now, this is a very difficult question. Hmm? <laughs> Tingnan ko kung ma makuha din yun. Can you tell me cases falling within the exclusive original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court? First, saan mo titignan ang answer? Miss Keno. Constitution po. All right. Anong specific provision? Uh, so section 5 of Article 8 of the Constitution. All right. Now, tignan mo. Diyan. And tell me the answer to the question. What are the cases falling with the exclusive original, ha? Original! Hindi ako nagsasabi ng apil, eh. Huwag iwigay sa akin apil eh. Original jurisdiction. Exclusive. Big sabihin, doon ka lang. Oh, what by the way? Miss Ken, what, what, what do you understand of exclusive original jurisdiction? Exclusive original jurisdiction po, that simply means that um, actions will be filed uh, exclusively therein. So, for the Supreme Court's case po, it will... No, only... tignan mo na! Ganun lang ba? Exclusively therein? Ano pang... Ano pa? Original! Likewise po, filed po for the first time right. and also there for exclusivity. Alright! Remember! Exclusive original! Filed for the first time and exclusively only in the Supreme Court. Anong ibig sabihin pag original? Anong counterpart, counterpart ng original? Anong opposite ng original? Appellate po. Alright! So kapag original, may appellate, di ba? O oh, yan, ngayon. Tanong mo sa akin, meron bang nakalagay dyan? Exclusive. Tanong ko sa iyo. Original jurisdiction. There's no express provision po about it at all. Ibig mo sabihin, may yung implied provision? Ha? Are you going to, uh, are, are you going to ano, imply the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court? No, attorney. There's no provision po stating the exclusive original well, kasi, jurisdiction. Kasi, kung bawa original, ibig sabihin may appeal. Eh, saan ka man mag-appeal? <coughs> Kung mag-file mo, <coughs> if you file it originally with the Supreme Court, saan mo i-appeal? Mayroon pa bang higher sa Supreme Court? Pupunta ka ba sa heaven? At hindi mo ito ba file In other courts, there is no huh? cases Nandiyan, tignan nyo sa Constitution. One and two lang. Una, concurrent original. Number two, what? Exclusive appellate review. Reverse, revise, modify, or affirm on appeal or certiorari. That number two. The five cases enumerated are those cases within the exclusive appellate jurisdiction. Tama ka, Miss Keno, because there is no 
case as what has been stated in the constitution but there are exclusive appellate now to wrap this up is your goal was what are those cases within the exclusive appellate jurisdiction miss uh keno will you enumerate them and read them from the constitution so that everybody will know now walang exclusive but i am going to discuss with you later on after this I'm not so sure, attorney. Yes. Sure. Okay, thank you for the previous answers. Thank you, attorney. Mm. Um, uh, Miss Kino, what is the nature of the obligation based on the decision of the court? Well, uh, attorney, uh, under the law, there's presumption that um, obligations on, on this level are actually joint. Hence, it's presumed that they will, uh, it will be divided uh, proportionately among A, B, C, D, and E unless uh, there's really um, a clear agreement that it's a solidary obligation. So, in that question, attorney, there's presumption that it's joint. Hence, that's the proof that uh, there will be proportionate shares or division of the payment of the 10 million pesos. Okay, I'll call on Keno. Hello. Attorney, good evening. Same question, pa. Yes, same question. Uh, okay. Um, sovereignty basically refers to the totality of the power of that state to actually exercise its um privileges or in terms of their privileges it's actually it's it speaks of the um, competence and privileges that are not really dependent as to the consent of other states in other words what whether they exercise their power in terms of legality or the competences and privileges that they have it's none of the business actually of other countries or other states because they exercise it without the consent of the other but differentiating this with independence this actually speaks of um, the freedom to conduct the foreign relations that they have so in other words whatever connections or relations they would wish to establish to with other states then it's really not the it's it's really not under the control of others as well so we speak of relations to other countries when we speak of independence because that's how independent they are but when we speak of sovereignty it's the totality of the power that it has as a country and also it will no longer um, depend or have consent on other let's say um, countries in re in relation to their treaties or whatnot. So that's how po I would differentiate sovereignty and uh, uh, sovereignty from independence. Independence is independence and sovereignty are most of the times regarded as one, but there is actually a slight difference between the two uh, because sovereignty is the totality totality of the powers, legal competence, and privileges of the state. Thank you.